This is as close to heaven as we're going to get here on Earth as Sandstone Falls. Take a look at it. It is so beautiful. Natural water feature here at the bungalows at the cliffs. We've been here before. It is so beautiful. I'm going to be taking you a tour of this place, so let's go check it out. landscape, the privacy, the magic behind everything here. This was a canvas turned into an amazing piece of art here at the cliffs. We are here in Hawking Hills today. We featured their lodge with their amazing waterfall a couple years ago. We loved it so much and now they have three more units open. They're bungalows and there is an amazing natural water feature here on the property, sandstone Falls. This has to be one of the most incredible features that you can come and visit here in Ohio and enjoy your time. It is so beautiful, a lot of work, craftsmanship, expertise went into all of this. The creativity is unmatched. I love all of this so much and if you have the chance to come here, I highly, highly suggest it. They did an incredible job here at their bungalows. We're going to be touring them today whenever you pull up onto their property very private 100 acre piece of Hawking Hills Forest. The sounds of nature are all around, the trees, the greenery, it is incredible. You pull up to your parking spot and there is an entire ecosystem here of pathways, amenities, the houses, it is amazing. We'll walk down this pathway that guides you all around through the property and we get to walk past the sandstone falls here immediately. Beautiful views from up here walking along the path. It is just incredible what they could do here. This space is very large. A lot of people can come in here and swim if they want to. There's lots of chairs all the way around this for lounging, for sunbathing. There's a dining table, a privacy wall around it, and it all circles the water right here. You can jump in, you can swim. It's about four and a half feet deep. The floor is sandstone as well, so you might be thinking there's moss or stuff in the bottom. It's just sandstone and water, which is really cool, except on this side, you can also walk in through here. There's a pathway, and there's going to be some uh, plants coming up through on this side. So this is all filtered naturally, which is incredible. The waterfall on this side, the beautiful sound of it flowing all day, and you can just sit under the water if you want to and sit on top of it. We can go over to the wall that they created for the infinity pool aspect of this. Very, very high-end and luxurious. Like I said, there's a lot of space here. You can enjoy your time, and the best part is it's all heated. So right now it's about 70 degrees here in Ohio. The water temperature is about 76 to 78 degrees. So you won't be swimming here and being cold or anything like that. They did everything correct with this feature. It is just, I'm mind blown, truly. We walked past the sauna. If we walked down this walkway, you can walk into this wood barrel sauna and you can get, enjoy the views from the glass on the other side of the infinity feature and the water and the waterfall and all the sandstone around. You can walk all along it if you want. Very easy access. There's steps everywhere. But whenever you're done with these features, we can walk back up onto the path. But if we take a look up, this building is called the Pool House. It's not yet complete while I'm staying here, but it will be in a couple weeks and they're going to have a lot of cool features with that so you'll get to enjoy it whenever you come stay here it looks absolutely incredible walk past the sandstone falls and we'll walk to the bungalows down the pathway through the trees the setting here is perfect i like how this walkway sets you up for the reveal of the bungalows and we'll walk down and there are three total these are about seven to eight hundred square feet of living space each they're all identical on the inside we'll walk down you'll pick whichever one is yours mine happened to be number three which is all the way on the end over here and there's also the sandstone 
feature through here as well. They built the pathways on top of it so we can walk down and into the bungalow. And the wood cladding on the outside is a really nice touch with the black roof. This front door actually blends in with the cladding, which I like that feature a lot. And we can walk through this front door and into the interior. These were inspired by the host trip to Bali, and I think they did an amazing job with the interior design of this place. Walking in, the first area is the main open area with your kitchen and your living room here on the right side. The wood cladding all along the walls and on the ceiling are awesome, and then if there's not any wood cladding, they did a lime wash paint, which gives it this textured look. It's awesome, a lot better than just painting drywall white. It adds a lot of detail into a space, so that's what they did with the walls and the floor or wood floors the first thing is this living room on the right side with the leather couch two very comfortable seats on this side the frame tv is on the wall over here and it can swivel out and you can sit on the couch have a great view of the tv and then right below this is a gas fireplace for those cold months at the flip of a switch it'll turn right on it is that easy and my favorite feature in this living room is the round window right above the couch that always adds so much to a space if you can be just a little bit different than a normal house square windows or the round window the round window this looks so cool and then there's a record player and some games right next to this couch over here and then across from this is your kitchen space this was all very pre-planned you can see the built-in around the refrigerator they had to get the exact dimensions and all of these features the pre-planning adds so much to a space you can tell that it was cared for and designed properly not just thrown together so this all looks amazing the wood cabinet built-ins underneath with the countertop above that's the same as the walls all blends in seamlessly. The one single floating shelf with the dishes above and then on the countertop there is your sink in the middle. There's a hidden dishwasher below as well as this beautiful oven and gas stove top. And then of course your refrigerator, I believe it is bespoke. And over here on this side, we have a built-in for your coffee supplies. They leave foreign coffee out of Columbus here for you to enjoy, and some wine. So this is the kitchen space, very functional for a short-term stay. It has literally everything you need. The microwave is actually above the coffee area. You could definitely live here and you have everything you need for a kitchen, and it takes up a very small footprint for this cabin. And around this is your dining table. You might be asking, where is it? Well, this wooden art work on this wall actually folds down into your table. It is really easy. Unlock these knobs, pull it down, and fold out the legs, and you have your dining table, and they keep the chairs around the corner. You can pull them out and put them here, and this adds so much to the space that you can pull it down really easily and put it up very easy as well. And whenever it's up, it is this really cool artwork design that you would have never known that is a dining table. So taking the creativity to the next level with your dining table options. And this is the main area. If we look on this other wall, these two huge floor to ceiling windows let you look out into your front deck space, out into the nature. This provides all of the natural lighting inside this cabin. The huge windows are very important with this space, just being able to tie it in with the nature. Walking past around this is your hallway that leads to your bathroom and your two bedrooms. Walking down this hallway, we have the beautiful arch nook for your towels. That's for the hot tub outside. And then we can walk and we have three door options. This first one on the right is your main bedroom space. In here, there is a king bed, very minimal in here. The windows on this wall are huge as well, just like the living room. You can sleep here, look out the windows, get great views. And then the only other thing in here is a wardrobe. You can store all of your clothes in here, the luggage, whatever you need to do. So I think what helps with this is the windows and the lime wash paint on the walls. Just gives it so much texture in here that you don't need things to clutter up and fill the space for decor. Very nice and clean look in here. Walking out of this, the next door is your bathroom space. Very typical layout for a bathroom with your vanity here on the left. This vanity was custom made by the same people that made the dining table and the cabinets in the kitchen as well. So all made locally, very cool feature. And then we have your toilet and then your shower glass wall with the waterfall shower head the tile on the ground and this just really blends in with the overall interior design of this space so this is your bathroom very clean and walking out of here the last room is your additional bedroom the bed right here in front of us there is a small closet space that store the water heater and such and then there's a small vanity around the corner over here next to your window and this completes 
this bedroom space, plenty of room to walk around, store your luggage and stuff, and they're still keeping that minimal design in here. And that is everything with this space. There's three, so there's more of a likelihood of them being more available for your dates. Now we're not done. We can walk out through the hallway door right here, and this leads out to the deck. Out here, you have some seating options, especially this couch up against this wall. It is underneath the patio, which is nice, so it won't get totally rained on. And then there is a fire pit right here in the middle. Four chairs, they provide some firewood for you, get that roasting, enjoy your time out here, and then walking down this way, we have the hot tub with the deck that's built around it, so you step into the hot tub. I always love that design feature for a hot tub, it looks really cool. I like the round hot tub compared to the square, the water's blue, this just looks very inviting to jump right in, have the fire roasting, enjoy the views and the string lights that are hung all around this. You can't see the other bungalows from the patio space, which is really nice as well. The booking link is down in the description below. The Cliffs hosts are so kind and amazing. What they've done with the Cliffs, I don't know if they could top it. It was so cool. But this place, I'm gonna say, is maybe a little bit cooler. That sandstone water feature is just top notch. You're not gonna find that really anywhere else in the world. So if you wanna experience it, you have to come to Ohio in Hawking Hills. This place is great. And guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next week.